In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your book jacket layout into this Photoshop mockup. So in Illustrator, this document is sized to fit the mockup, so you really shouldn't have to adjust it much. So for the first layer that we're going to edit in the mockup is going to be the fold jacket. It is a hidden layer, but we're going to double click on this thumbnail with the checker pattern on it. It says jacket. And now in Illustrator, Make sure that everything is unlocked on the layer that you've been working. So I still have my template layer. So to unlock everything, we're going to go to Object, Unlock All. And now we could select everything on our cover as it is now and Copy, Control C, or Edit Copy. Go over to Photoshop and Control V, or Edit Paste. And you can paste this as a smart object or pixels. If you keep it as a smart object, you can click into the smart object and edit it, and it will update within the mockup. So I can show you an example of that. Let's paste it as a smart object. And it looks like I'm going to need to resize. All right, let's go ahead and Control S or File Save on this layer that we've opened. And now we'll go back to the other tab, which is our main mockup. And you can see that it's updated. You might need to rescale or shift your design if it's not looking perfectly aligned. Back cover is right here. Let's double click on that thumbnail. You can just select this part of your cover. Or as you can kind of see, we've got some overflow of objects. So you might want to create a clipping mask of just that section before we copy and paste it. So under the rectangle tool, I'm going to click and drag a box over just that trimmed section. And now selecting everything, let's go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And now Copy, Control C. And in Photoshop, Control V to paste in and scale that to fit. And then file save on that layer. And going back to the mockup, you can see that it's been updated. And here's where you might need to decide if you need to make tweaks for the visibility and the contrast, depending on what color of text you used on the background. And then on the front cover, let's double click on that thumbnail. The grid and I can create another rectangle and clipping mask of just the front cover making sure everything's unlocked to object clipping mask make and now copy control C control V into this layer and file save and now I've got that updated. You can also edit. You can see our cover is not the right color. Might want to change that to something that's going to be neutral or that fits the overall theme or color scheme. And you might want to mask or create other layers, just depending on what would be realistic for yours. And now I will show you what you can do with the smart object. So back to this cover where we kept this layer a smart object, you can double click on the thumbnail of this layer and it will open it in Illustrator. And now just for obvious reasons, I'm gonna cut this title and save, Control S. And if I go back to Photoshop, you'll see that it has updated. So that smart object is its own collection of the information you've pasted into Photoshop. So it's not directly linked to your original book jacket file. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do an undo, control Z, control S to save it so it will update back. And after you've saved each of these layers, you can close those. And then to save your final mockup, be sure to save this working Photoshop file by going to File, Save. And then we also want a JPEG. So go to File, 
save as and choose your location and give it a name and we want to save it as a jpeg and save as a high quality one more thing i do want to note is whenever you paste in those smart object layers it might substantially increase the size of your file if you want to optimize that more you can go back to the layer where you pasted in the smart object and you're going to want to right click on the text part of the layer and rasterize layer so now you're going to need to save this layer file save or control s close the layer and file save or control s to save again and if you saw before it has decreased the size some you can definitely do that on the other ones or the other layers as well so again, to get into the layer, you're going to double click on the thumbnail. And to rasterize, you're going to have to right click in kind of this blank area. Right click, rasterize layer. Control S to save. And same on this one, double clicking the thumbnail. Right click, rasterize layer. Control S. And finally, control S on the main Photoshop file. And now it's reduced. Still plenty large, but that's much better than 300 plus megabytes.